What's going on, everybody? Nick Daniels here. Coming July, man, yet again. Uh, today, we're just out at a beach. I figured we'd, uh, you know, come out and do some filming with the drones. I'm just waiting for the families and stuff to get the hell, they got the heck out of my way. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go film with the drones. So I figured I'd just talk about, uh, just a little update there. I made a video a while ago about uh, buying a hoose, and I just want to update on where I was at with that. So, uh, you know, it's not the great story, but, uh, you know, the, the realization has sunk in. So anyway, so unfortunately, yeah, the housing, uh, the housing costs are still going up. They're going up again. Uh, not like that they went down, but apparently they, they went down like 100K, which I don't believe. And anyway, there was one uh, particular house in mind that I, I kind of wanted, and uh, I, was, I was ready to go for it. Anyway, so got all situated. The big thing about it was I didn't know really like how to buy a house, if that makes sense. Like, you know, you're not necessarily just taught that day one. So, you know, I had to actually go learn. I had to go learn like what a pre-approved what pre-approvals were and then what an approval was, you know, what's the difference? What's the, uh, you know, how to calculate up the interest and, you know, oh, what's a five-year lock-in or a variable, you know, um, and, you know, and just figuring all this terminology, I had no idea. Like, I didn't even know what the deal with a realtor was, you know, and how to get in touch or whatever. So what a lot of it I did actually is I just went on Reddit and I was just looking around and I was just seeing what people recommended, you know, and like, or who they recommended. Anyway, and I figured out like, you know, the mortgage broker wasn't a bad idea, you know, did some, did some phone calls and stuff, you know, and I got a rough idea, but there was just this one particular property that I knew I could afford. Like I did all the calculations and I was like, I can do this and I can have a little bit of change left over. Not a lot, but I'd have enough money that I could, I could, I had some play money, you know, where I could save it or whatever. Um, the only issue was I, I have like two uh, vacations this year I'm doing, right? And one in a month and then one in a, just another couple months uh, in September. So that would, you know, and both of them are going to cost a few bucks. The second one, a lot more, uh, like a few thousand, right? So I also don't have a uh, boatload of money in the bank account. I have enough. But uh, so anyway, I was looking at like, you know, like tra trailers and stuff too, like the tiny homes, tiny home communities as they call them, but it's a trailer, trailer park. Uh, but again, they were, a lot of them weren't on their own land, right? So then you have to face all these new challenges, which didn't look really appealing. Um, anyway, the one house though that I was looking at, and I figured this was probably going to happen, but I ended up selling, it sold like 50,000 50, over asking, which is really ridiculous. It was really cheaply priced though. That's why like I looked at it and I was like, I can afford it. Let's just kind of you know, get the, th get the stuff figured out. Like say again, with the pre-approval, all that junk and then go from there. Um, yeah. So what I think is I just don't think it's going to happen for a while. And I think I'm okay. Uh, it's just the deal I have on my rent is really, really, really good, honestly. And I don't really want to hand that over unless I'm getting a property. Um, and again, getting the property doesn't look like it's going to be a day one venture. I knew it wasn't going to be obviously like I was thinking like six months from now, I'd probably start actually really more realistically looking. Um, but again, in this situation, it doesn't, it just doesn't seem realistic in any, in any manner, you know, to, to, to even really bother at this time, you know, because another property of that value of that, of that everything, that location is probably not going to come up very, like, again, um, and it could, and that's why I'm kind of set up that a way I am now that I could go for it. Like I could, I could make the calls and everything, um, and do that, but I think I'm kind of taking it easy. I will note, though, that uh, before I talked to a realtor, I thought it was really overwhelming because I actually uh, booked a viewing at the place and I kind of backed down right away because I didn't have a realtor, right? I just kind of like booked a viewing and I was like, oh, like I'll talk to him. And I immediately got like, you know, multiple emails like from like basically saying, hey, and we noticed we don't have a realtor. Do you need a realtor? But they were like very aggressive, you know, like it was very much like they were really trying to retain like to, to me to get with them into, uh, to, you know, because obviously they're going to make money. Um, so it makes sense, you know, and no, it just scared me off, man. It, it was weird. It was a lot. It was just a little too much for me. And, uh, that's a problem. You know, I, I want to take it easy. I want to, I want to just do it on my own. You know, I want to view it. That's the thing, right? Um, and that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to view the house and just look at it. I get that you want to have a realtor because you can, like, they book the viewings and all that, but you can book viewings by yourself and just go there, right? Especially if it's like private sale. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to look at it, get an idea of what it was and just see it because it was like the pictures, I don't know. I wasn't 100%. Um, when I, I kind of got, I got cold feet, I won't lie. And maybe that's why I didn't get the place. Who knows? But uh, obviously, like, they all sell. Like, you know, I, I don't, I'm not like, I'm not disappointed in any way. I actually think my apartment is probably kind of better than that place regardless uh, in terms of almost everything. So, I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really crying about that at all in any way. But it was just an idea to note that it was like, okay, like this is this is how it's going to go. Uh, and especially the 50, like it was like 50, 55,000 over asking. I, I couldn't afford that over asking. So there you have it. So I don't know. That's the update on that. Uh, we're going to make some more videos. But here, before we go, we'll uh, show you, show, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So this is uh, Lawrence Town Beach here, or Conrad, sorry, Conrad's Beach, Lawrence Town's 
over that way. It's over that way. Um, yeah, and then this is it here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to fly the drone around and uh, do some uh, practicing here. I think there's a panorama mode I'm going to try out today, and we're going to go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. We'll make, obviously, some more while we're out here. Take it easy. Peace. Thanks for watching, you pencil pushers. If you guys want to check out my Instagram here, I've just got it in the background. It's Nick Daniels Photography with an underscore in between each word where I uh, post every day. That's a lie. Thanks for watching. Peace.